Uh, you know what, before we get started, <laughs> I'm thirsty. Anybody thirsty? You want anything? I'll take your beer. Let me show you folks how uh, Photoshop can help you put images together for contests, like the one I'm doing here where I've got an animal um, using a cell phone taking a photo, which is one of our contests that we have on our student stock site. You should check out those contests. Opportunity for you to make some money and win some prizes. Uh, this is what your ending shot's going to look like. This is what it looked like before. So we're taking this cute shot we've got and going to slide a phone in there. Here's how you do it. Um, here's again the straight image and by the way see the foot right here you notice how that came out blurry so the first thing I did is I cut this foot out made a layer out of it and placed it over here so it's nice to see that you can fix some other stuff too <clears throat> on this one I took this phone right here cut it out turned it into a layer and brought it into this image here it is just dragged it in and when you look at the image that's pretty much that's pretty easy but it doesn't look real when we zoom in because the paws are behind the uh, camera you should come on over here and get on get on film <laughs> Seriously? sure everything we're doing you just say hi to about three four thousand maybe ten thousand folks yeah actually probably there's about four people watching right now but and three of them are in the boat behind us. Cool, man. <laughs> We're doing a Photoshop thing. This is live? This, nah, it's not live. Is this live? Nah. We'll edit you out a little later. Cool, man. <laughs> All right, thanks. thanks. <laughs> okay, so I turn this off, and, and what you need to do is cut out the pause. So here's how I did that. There they are. Now I've gone through here with my lasso tool and virtually just drawn this out the way I wanted it. I'm on the background layer. I do Command J, make a layer out of it. And as you can see, I can move those paws anywhere I want. So there they are. I, I bring in the phone and I take this layer of the paws that I cut out earlier and I drag it right on top and you can see when I back up it makes all the difference in the world and that you got the pause right there holding on probably the only thing I would do would be add some shadow and to do that there's six ways to do everything in Photoshop maybe ten in some cases on this particular case I would click on the background I would um, feather this I'd feather it about, depending on my file size, maybe about eight. And then I'd grab this background right here, do a Command J for a layer, and I would darken it. Go to Image, Adjust, Brightness, Contrast, darken it just a little bit, and then I would move that darkness so that it was right underneath the paws. Continue darkening it. Until you see this nice little drop shadow right there, looks like a um, almost a reflection. It makes a huge difference on what this image looks like because now you've got a real connection to the cell phone. Back it off, and there's your image. Hope that helped. Looking forward to seeing you next time. This is Mike Aguilera for Student Stock. I'll have a different shirt in a few minutes. Take care. <laughs> Were you going to shoot me? <laughs> uh, shoot me. Uh, 